Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and welcome back my Cyber Angels. You, There were 27 likes that so that put you in 5th place this week and uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading as well. Thank you very much for your likes. Every single like helps and um, shares. So please share and like it is much appreciated and of course if you've just happened to land on this channel uh, for the first time welcome and uh, this is an, an amazing channel and there are amazing angels you should come in into the life and experience it for yourself and become a an cyber angel yourself I give away free cards on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I also answer questions in the live sessions we call it the tea room and um, uh, I, I answer questions like I said that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker and if you would like to have an extensive reading uh, or a personal reading then look at the information below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner there you can see a white circle with an eye and that will take you to the website and um, yeah it's going to be great uh, I feel great and it's always exciting to be back and to be appreciated by my cyber angels okay and of course by new cyber angels come and join the family it's great fun now the competition was uh, cancelled um, but last night after the live session there were was one or two persons that said what have you cancelled it I'm busy with my vision board so there will be an um, an upstart I believe um, I, I will be doing it with uh, an other colleague of mine uh, as we have done the witches series there will be a new series next year um, but there will be a, a total new twist on the competition um, but it she's on holiday at the moment uh, so as soon as I have more information I'll let you know on Facebook so if you still want to continue with the competition and you've got a vision board halfway and you're experiencing it then you can join the competition on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot okay let's get started with your reading this is the querent card or the overall energy card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday the four corner cards will clarify the three cards around it or vice versa then I've got the white witches tarot um, uh, deck out and that's the big arcana and I use that for the meaning of the card and also which zodiac is assigned to that card if there is a zodiac not all uh, big arcana cards have zodiacs assigned to them then we have the Archangel Michael card and the answers of the angels now uh, Scorpio we start off with the center card and wow this is a magical card because the angels are already showing up for you number 11 the porthole to new beginnings you might feel out of whack though right not in balance so try to come out of your head and get a different perspective on something look at this little owl and the owl stands for wisdom so use your wisdom use your brain come out of your brain okay and look at things differently try to look at things positively and realistically that will reset the button to bringing you back into balance if you are in a judicial issue then justice will be done justice will be done big time you will get what you deserve and they will get what you uh, what they deserve like karma karma comes round threefold back threefold if you've done good or if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold the angels are confirming this by being the card 11 you could also be meeting a Libra because the justice card stands for Libra now on Monday you've got the king of wands and the king of wands that is Aries it could also be meeting an Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius okay really Leo is the queen and Sagittarius is the page but I do not exclude 
because it nothing is set in um, concrete okay in stone so just give and take the energy it is the energy of the king of wands but you could also be meeting the king of wands you are most probably putting your ideas into action perhaps this week will be really bad uh, um, full of uh, energy not bad um, uh, and you're not backing away you are going for what you want you definitely do you have your ideas you've strategically planned things out and I think they will come out okay with help and advice from the Hierophant the High Priest it could also be a Taurus he represents Taurus also out of balance so with his advice this could be a lawyer if it is a judicial situation this could also be a mature man that you respect or that you hold respect for this could be somebody in authority this could be some like a father figure or an uncle this could be somebody in a judicial system or the municipalities Wow you are taking action for what you believe is right and what is just for you and you might have seeked legal advice on how to do that Wow really great go for it that is what the king of wands does okay sorry Millie's just bitten my lead to, to Millie's playful that's the little dog that I've got no 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 you can't bite the, the earplugs okay and something unexpectedly is happening on Friday as you've got the tower whoa and you've got number 16 so that is 7 is good luck so I think something positive is going to happen because you're in this positive passionate mood because the fire signs stand for passion they stand for action they stand for creativity logically and I think you've just got going to get what you want that is what the feeling is that I have you know you couldn't make a decision and you've got the angel number here and you've got the divine at work here because you couldn't make a decision so the divine decided to step in or the angels did um, to give you a new beginning that's basically it they're already coming into the reading with this number 11 new beginning and two balance because one and one becomes two so you will be in balance at the end of the week and I think you are going to take this uh, sudden change unexpected change as an adventure and, and it is a new beginning because you didn't decide it the divine and the angels did and you can't do anything about the past you can only change the present and the future and I think you were already busy with this because you started to take action that is what you've decided you've got your emotions under control you're putting your ideas into practice and you seek advice and the change is here boom big time and at the weekend you've got the page of Pentacles so you m will be receiving news this could be from a younger Virgo Capricorn or um, a Taurus and the page of Pentacles is Capricorn but don't exclude Virgo or Taurus this could be definitely about something that's durable and for long term so if you are in a judicial situation could be about a contract about job <coughs> uh, it could be about uh, a buying a house that's also durable and for long term it could also be for uh, about a relationship uh, marriage okay and that is for long term but you want you, perhaps you might have decided to get prenuptials done and you you couldn't decide something so now somebody has written the paper for you and the change is here and it's uh, it's a good change and you will be receiving news could be about anything but it is for long term and with durability now why am I saying uh, you didn't make that decision or that choice well basically because that is what I see in the tower but this is the confirmation okay although it's not the three cards um, the, the card here 
uh, and clarifying the cards but um, in the overall uh, all energy this is the first card again a number seven so you've got two number sevens that can be added okay you've got the limbreth and the limbreth means that you don't know where to go on to get to your goal okay now there's other people around you so ask other people from help so that you can get to your goal learn from the past learn to make a decision learn how to decide and ask for help if need be from a professional or a father figure that will bring you peace look at the doves that will bring you to your center and to your goal and of course you know you're taking action that will bring you back into balance like I said and the news will bring you clarity it will bring you back onto the path that you should be walking now you've got the key here you hold the key again the angels are here 33 again six that will bring you into balance you're moving from five to six <clears throat> you've got um, one two three sevens here okay uh, look at this 43 34 16 seven 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 so if you see three sevens anywhere then that is a significant number but luck is on your side big time you hold the key to open that door to what you love or to a love or you can close that door to a love or you can close that door to something else that you don't like justice could be a divorce but I don't think so now if I was reading in an extensive reading then I also read the lines like this and this and that and more then we have three fish here okay so you can open the door to balance and justice and this is really a, a work card and this is also the king of pentacles um, so you could be closing uh, if this was an extended reading I would say you could be closing the door on a Taurus but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn but I'm not going to go there uh, for a moment I'm not going into the negative because I'm not reading that in this reading it's not an extensive reading I'm doing the th um, the fish this is the fish but we've got three so you are I think you could be closing the door if I was reading it this way on a third person somebody might be disrupting your relationship and your luck well this card says know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries don't let anybody cross your boundaries you protect what you what is dear to you luck is on your side again this is a card of luck so you've got four times luck three sevens and the fish that means luck okay know your boundaries you can work well in groups that's the basic meaning of it but learn to say no okay let others know what y you mean by no that is how you force respect boundaries to here and no further sorry I want to spend time with my boyfriend I want to spend time with my husband you are not welcome today it's Sunday family day something like this this is hypothetical speaking okay so set your boundaries don't let any third party bother you and your relationship you can open the door you hold the key to this relationship okay you've got the eight of diamonds here that means eight of pentacles that is recognition you are being recognized because you will set your boundaries you might even start a new study if this is to do with work then you might start a new study in order to enhance your wisdom and to get that promotion that you are working for and this is a business card luck at work luck at bis in business and this is the king of pentacles so that means everything that you touch you will turn to gold turn to positivity if you tell somebody else no I don't 
you can't come and visit here because um, I'm out with my husband or my boyfriend or we are holding um, a, a family day today nobody is welcome except family and that could be just you and your partner and, and your children if you have children so make special time for you and your partner and whatever you do will touch to gold this could be the Taurus okay but don't exclude um, Capricorn or Virgo right you are taking action you are standing your ground you are saying no to here and no further abide by my rules we love you you're welcome another day but no not today that will stand you in good strength instead because that is justice you're giving them clarity okay and that is what a Libra would do which justice represents okay and that is the advice that these three cards are giving you to the Lenormand and the Lenormand giving you advice to set your boundaries and let others know they cannot take action over those boundaries now this is um, the last corner card and one of the most positive cards in the deck and that is the ace of pentacles so there could be a new house there could be a new beginning in a job or a project the ace of pentacles Virgo Capricorn Taurus again coming out okay this is Taurus this is Taurus so Taurus is quite prominent here so there might be something really important with a Taurus perhaps he's overstepping his boundaries with you okay or perhaps you should let him overstep your his your boundaries because he might love you or she might love you let them come in if he is, that is what you want love because sunshine you are in the spotlight literally and figuratively okay you are in the spotlight Scorpio so if you want that Taurus to come into your life yes let them something is being illuminated well something is not clear well here you have the advisor and here you have the justice and the Libra these two people uh, want clarity and Libra stands for justice and clarity and honesty uh, uh, so honesty and clarity will come out so long you do the research and ask for help and seek advice okay you might be moving home you might be traveling okay you might be hearing of a birth this could be of a child or of a new project you might be going up to the next level in a relationship love or partner this is the most awesomest card in the Lenaman look you're getting a second chance or a new beginning the angels have stepped in and they're giving you all the positive positive results you can possibly wish they're giving you your uh, your your uh, support they're giving you people around you to advise you to keep you in balance and the angels are definitely giving you a new beginning a doorway to step through take the tower as a, an adventure excitement like a new journey this could be a journey physically or mentally okay you know what represents or resonates with you oh okay well Scorpio now we have the uh, high priest high priestess and this deck it is co um, just going to check high priestess yes the high priestess that is also she also represents the moon goddess now what do you see I'm just going to let you see and sink in this picture what do you see if you know your biology then you should be seeing it and I love these cards because they're beautiful tattoos now 
you see wings here okay and I'm going to I'm going to go in 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 uh, into detail with this I haven't done it in any others because this is what I'm called to do you've got the shadow and the light one then you've got the angel wings angels are showing you signs okay keep watching around you you've got the heart upside down you see that that sure could be your solar plex that could be your secretal chakra because we've got the uterus we've got the uterus right there we've got the um, um, fallopian tubes out there that could be two uh, the second set of eyes it all depends how you interpret this art then we've got the arms right the arms those are your hips that's to cradle the baby the hands you are welcome new life into you whether it's love whether it's fertility and then we're relating that to this card birth birth of a job birth of a child something that you lose your heart about the next level a new love this could be Leo okay you see how beautiful this card is how deep you can look at pictures go if on a rainy day go to the museum and look at pictures go with somebody and discuss the pictures that is how you can spend a rainy day you've got your antennas out you are receiving ideas wow that's the air sign okay new ideas now the high priestess um, she is the high priestess represents the goon go moon goddess okay so she represents Pisces in my eyes now this card is so simple so artistic and yet has so many meanings listen to your gut feeling listen to your heart listen to your new ideas your third eye okay open it up listen to your intuition your gut feelings your eye new ideas or try to remember what happens in your dreams there will be messengers don't ignore your gut feeling absolutely beautiful there could be a Pisces there could be a Taurus there could be a Libra there could be a Leo so um, Virgo 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 yes okay now I'm going to go back this is Aries then we've got Leo Virgo Libra so those could be the very important months August September and October could be very important months perhaps it might have started in May in the Taurus time but just go back and see your love reading if it's with regards to romance and have a look at your monthly reading in May in Taurus time okay and see whether something has happened in your own life or in the reading and see whether it resonates with those readings I don't know but that is um, I'm usually I don't predict time but these are the important months you might be harvesting something in uh, August September or October until about the 21st of October now we've got uh, the healing card purple spiritual card she is spiritual and purple is spirituality okay serendipity the right place at the right time that is where you will be Archangel Michael will be there with you Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key energy this sacred key places you exactly where you are meant to be in balance 
you will receive an extraordinary gift. So, keep this notice down on your calendar. There will be a gift coming from now till the 21st of October. An exceptional gift. A new birth, okay? Could be pregnancy, if that is what you wish. It's a very fertile time between now and the 21st of October. Now, do I have to worry? That's what I'm hearing. I think that is a question that somebody is asking. Do I have to worry? No. You do not have to worry. The angels are with you. They've shown it to you in numbers, right? 11, 7, 7, uh, 7. Again, 33, angel number, and the wings. Wow. Magic. So if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Take care, be blessed, and enjoy this week. And stay safe. Please share and like. And I hope to see you on Monday, Wednesday or Friday in the live sessions. I set out notifications on Facebook and on Instagram and in the community tab of YouTube. And there will be, uh, um, uh, the competition will continue but it will be tweaked. I'll let you know ASAP. Take care and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.